I need to peel something else with my chainsaw. Let's go and find some death. Let's top up on the old health juice first, though. Mm. It doesn't hurt creatures. Oh. There's a thing. Come here and get dead. There. Deaded. I need a few more of them before I can analyse the next phase of my analyse thing. Now you're dead. Oh, a double punch. Oh, he got me though. Come here. I think this is iron. It is iron. Another one. Right in the butt. There we go. There we go. Where's your carapace? It's right over there. You went flying, son. It was a good death. Now that I'm a bit further away from my base, I did not realise the amount of space I had. What is that? That's another one of those spheres, isn't it? Look. There is stuff, there's so much to do. You could just, even if you didn't like building, you could simply play this as an exploration game. It is immense, it's fantastic. Charge, son, charge. Oh, he got me. Good shot, old bean. Copper? Yeah. More copper. Seems like this top bit's pure and the bit underneath is a bit dodgy. More of this. I'm really intrigued by this stuff here. That looks pretty deep down there. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty deep. I won't go down there. Oi! Get back here. Here. Caterium ore. Okay, we're putting a bacon in. Caterium. I can't remember if that's how you spell it or not. But that'll do. Never seen that before. Caterium is smelting and caterium ingots. Caterium is mostly used for advanced electronics. Oh my god, we have got so much to do, people. There's me exploring the explorey things, and we've got all of the building to do. Whoa, that's a 15 of that one. That's interesting. Very interested to see what that is because it's interesting. Right, I think the next phase is to just quickly smash my way through these. These are easy, look. Bit of that, some of that, one of them, and a bit of that. Okay, so while I've been waiting for this little hippie to get back, I have had a thinking thought with my brain that I use to think things. And I am starting to think my base is rubbish. With all of my new stuff, I will show you organisation, not organisation, walls and things. I want to build multiple floors. Hmm. Because eventually I'm going to have a massive thing. And the massive thing hopefully will fit here. Special space elevator. Hmm. I'm hoping it will fit here somewhere. Yes, it's huge. 
So, there's going to be conveyors going in and out of there, I presume. Well, mainly into there. That's going to be an ongoing concern. So, I want all of my ducks in a row. I'm going to basically tear this whole thing down. Okay. Now, where do I begin? Yeah, I want to try and build another floor. I want it... Three high. I'm going to move the hub so that it's actually outside of the base. If that makes sense. So that is going to go as well. That looks kind of cool. I'm going to slap one of them up there. And I might even slap another one there. And I have a proper wall on top. I'm going to have a metal wall on top. And I want to try... Will this work? It will. However, how, how far across can I build? When will physics bite me? There. Is this the last bit? And the roof is placed. Hmm. I like it. Now, I know it's kind of counterintuitive putting the smoky power things inside, but that's the way I roll. I want stairs here. I don't know if they're going to work in one square. Now, can I attach them? There. I need more bags off the sand. There. Now, every base I've seen, they are cramped. Cramped and squished and confusing and messy. I want mine to be tidy and nice. I usually build messy. But, I think this game deserves the organisation that you can get from it. I kind of like the look of that. Yes. Now I'm fully aware that these power stations are going to get upgraded. But I'm slapping a few of these little beauties in here. There. There. I'm happy with them. I'm happy with them. Now I can go... One to there. Cable. There, one to there, one to there, and one to there. Now they are each, in essence, their own distribution hub. Now to set up some mining. More mining. Right, so there we have two iron. <laughs> Got a slightly greater angle there. There, got three. Three of the little bad boys. And that will go into that floor, which is construction. Hopefully it'll go that high. Right, let us smelt. Like so. Then hopefully this won't be too much of an angle. It's good. It works. So I can move them a lot closer too. I'll do that in a minute. Put one of my ear. I'm on that one. So yeah, that's going to there. Bosh. That ain't powered at the moment. What about here? Mm. 
vous voulez autant de ça. Pour la salle, t'en es né. Dans la salle, t'en es né. Ouais, we are ironing like an iron thing. We're gonna say that is bottom floor. That is mining power. Yeah, that's my power for my miners. This is going to be second floor power over here. That's my floor. Now let's go outside and arrange some power. Not perfectly straight, however, very happy. Connected. Connected. Encroaching another's clearance. Mm. I have issues on clearance. from the first one. They're powered. Now, I'm going to do that two more times. Once for limestone, once for copper. I'm presuming there are going to be more ores to collect than iron, limestone and copper. So we have got room on this floor to grow. There we go. It's coming, I can see it. So we have got power and room to expand power. We have got goods in. Now, the next floor is going to be construction and assembly. I want, I don't know if I'm gonna need another, another floor on top of that, but obviously I've got room to grow and I want construction and assembly to come down to the bottom floor into the middle where I have this massive space and I'm gonna have cargo up this end or storage up this end in case I wanna use this manual jobby again. And then construction and assembly can also convey around I've made a boo-boo there by building that there because I, I wanted my space elevator there, but I might have room to build my space elevator over there. So construction and assembly from the top floor can go straight down into my space elevator over there. Yeah. I've got room for upgrades because I presume the coal burners are going to be much bigger than that. I don't know. Hope they're not higher though. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. My power is logical. So we've got ores, we've got first floor, and then up that end, hmm, I don't know. Up that end I might have second floor. That would make sense, that would make sense. All in all, not bad for an hour's work, I think. Next phase is the next floor, Construction and assembly. Mmm, yes, happy days. Alrighty then, I've whacked up a couple of storages, so we, we are making all the things. I've got all the concrete in there, and the copper in there, and the iron doing its thing over there. So, we've got power downstairs, we have got all refinery this floor, so now it's time to chuck in another floor. I'm very excited about this. I should have the things and stuff to do it because I've got loads of the things and stuff. Ooh. Fly over my base. Come on. He 
extreme close-up with the flying thing. With his little flying thing friends. Mm. Also, on this bottom floor, I want to make my own fuel. So every time I go out for a little run, I want a... I've got a spare power there. So I think I want... Do I need a constructor? I think I need... Uh, Bosh. Come on, spit it out, son. Ooh, spitty, spitty. I know we're not going to get a lot, but now every time I go out to play, I can grab a bit more leafies and throw them in there. And I know exactly where my fuel is at all times. Get in there, son. It's another little thing automated. Have a little pog at my factory. Look at that, son. That's a proper factory, that, isn't it? None of this gubbins hanging out all over the place. That is, that is tidy, that. That's tidy. Okay, so I'm presuming when this storage is full, it should start pumping out again. Would I be right in saying that? Let's try it out. We'll go for this window. Mm, let's go for that window there. Yes, I would be right in saying that. Very right indeed. Do you know what? I'm going to make a butt flap around the edge. That's right, a butt flap. How many clicks does it go up? One, two, three. I'm going to go up two, see if it can handle that. It only can. That goddamn cotton picking works. Get on my conveyor. Go up here. Yeah. I'm well happy with that. Right, okay. Now to that end. I can start building constructors and assemblers. Smash a bit of that in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to make those jump pads. These stairs are getting silly. But hopefully, after I'm producting the things... They should all come back downstairs. That's the idea, is I want my overall storage back downstairs again. Very much a test build. Slam that in there like that. And we will slam... Something else will go in there, but we'll put that in there as well. For now. And let's configure it. Right, rotors and modular frames. So, what are my recipes in here? Reinforced iron plate. So I'm going to need three of these, all in all. Okay, that can work for me. I need three assemblers in total, up the stairs. Yes, I do. So, I'm going to take this one out. Okay, I'm getting to the point where I very much need to upgrade my power. What I want to make in there is reinforced iron plate. So I'm going to need iron plate and screws going into there. That I want rotors, so I'm going to need iron rod and screws going into there. So I could actually do a splitter between the screws. And this one here, I'm building modular frames, so iron rod, do a splitter between the iron rods and three reinforced iron plates, which means... I will probably need iron plates coming from that or reinforced iron plates round and into that as well. Yes. That will work. But I haven't got enough power to sustain this endeavour. We are going to strip the whole world of biomass and I can't do that at this point. I'm having to go further and further afield for power, so I'm I'm upgrading my powers first. Let's do some hub upgrades.